Hey guys, happy Halloween, and now I'm going to be doing my touchdown VHS collection again, so anyways, let's go and get started. I have quite a lot as you guys can see, but anyways, let's go and get started. I'm actually, I don't feel like counting right now, if you guys don't mind, so I'm just going to, maybe I'll count after this video and I'll let you guys know how, my, how many I have. I don't know, I'll think about it. But anyways, let's go and get started, and before we get to this, I actually have two Hollywood Pictures tapes that I did not show when I did my Hollywood Pictures collection two days ago. These are the two tapes I actually missed by accident. Because sending adults. And guys, there actually are a few touchdown tapes I'm missing as well. I do apologize for that. I had a hard time finding a couple of them. January 9th, 1993, and December 28th, that's night two. And the demo tape of The Rock. September 27, 1996. And now let's get to the cup boxes. I don't have any clamshells for touchdown. Um, Mediterraneo. Look at this, Core Producer Miramax. My company in POE terms. Touchdown. January 18th, 1994. It says on there you could win $11 million. Up to $75 million in cash winners. Pretty cool. And Black Wizard Date, June 15, 1999. This is um, Enemy of the State. Tape. May 16, 1999. And now this next tape, guys, I'm going to have to... Um, this has a bit of an inappropriate cover. I'm gonna have to cover the cover because you know how YouTube is with stuff like that. Bruce Almighty. Look at this. Universal and Touchstone. That's this is pretty much the only release that has that, I think. One of the it's one of the only Touchstone Universal films. That is pretty cool actually. December 6, 2003. And this is a British tape, by the way. It's from it's from the UK, obviously. It's a PAL tape, whatever you'd like to call it. I also got Cribadorb's Tribe right here. Tip. April 29th, 1999. Look at this. Pretty cool. Has some advertisements in there. Now let's get to the slip cases. I have a lot of slip covers. Tough guys. Look at this. Old looking tape. March 16th, 1987. This tape does have the black screen of death at the end. Golden Gate. Also core producer Samuel Goldwyn. Blockbuster video. Wow, what a difference. Just to remind, please rewind. Thanks, the end. September 8th, 1994. Big business. January 6th, 1997. Ransom. There's my first copy. Blockbuster Day, October 22nd, 1997. April 17, 1997. Also got the white screen copy. November 29, 1997. Outrageous Fortune. Um... 261st day, 1987, which is September 18, 1987. I actually remember that from the last time I um, checked it on Google. Ten men. 
1988 VHS. Look at that. No touchdown symbol on the top. Weird. To play is human. To rewind is divine. Blockbuster video. Wow, what a difference. No print date. The Water Boy. July 11, 1999. Good morning, Vietnam. Hundred thirty fourth day, nineteen eighty eight, which is May thirteenth, nineteen eighty eight. Corky Romano, Bob was day, April second, on six, April twenty fifth, two thousand two. Bad company. Movie Gallery Rental. October 15, 2002. The Village. This is a rare Town 5 VHS, but this is an early Town... I mean, this is a... Um, this is an early copy. This is a late Town 4 print. May in Mexico. As you guys can tell with the print date. December 7, 2004. The Recruit, Cobra Deuce's Spyglass, Bop Wish Date, North Third Town Free, April 25th, 2003, I think, or is it 2002? Oh no, it's 2003, I was right. The Reef Demo Tape, May 21st, 1994. The Royal Tenon Bombs. Another movie gallery rental. June 19, 2002. What's Love Gotta Do With It? Also, Core Producer Virgin has the proof of purchase still intact on it. September 22nd, 1997. The Insider. Block was day, August 7, 2000. On the top it says... The film is presented in on this video cassette as a widescreen, so this is a widescreen copy. Actually, I actually see that now on the label. Now I look at the label. March 11, 2000. Cold Creek Manor. Bog was dated December 10th on 4. January 23rd on 4. January 8th on 4. And Sneak Demo Tape. Coders of Spyglass. Dark Sickle Label. August 17th, 1999. Ignore that, that was the doorbell. Demo tape, bring down the house. Also got the official copy after this. Ink label. April 9th, time free. March 11, 2003. Bring down the house. This is the official copy. Boggles Day, September 13th, time free. June 21st, time free. And June 13th, 2003. Mumford Demo Tape. January 17, 2000. Summer of Sam. This is a demo tape. September 25th, 1999. Three Fugitives. May 23rd, 1991, and 115th day, 1991, which I actually still remember as well. That one is April 25th, 1991. I remembered it, so I didn't have to research it again.
signs. Number 20, Town 2, and number 16, Town 2, so four days apart. Edward Demo Tape. January 27, 1995. Edward, this is the official copy. From Rental in Boulder, Colorado. August 30th, 1995. Sweet Home, Alabama, caseless. January 8,003. Several cracks on the back, but I will actually still keep this tape. Chris Jones actually sent me this tape in the mail. And thanks to Chris Jones for sending me that tape in the mail. Even though I actually do hope to get another copy, but I'm still going to keep this copy. Because it still looks nice in the Touchdown collection. Life with Mickey demo tape. August 19, 1993. Phenomenon. I heard this is a good movie, but I've never seen it. I'm going to have to watch this movie someday on VHS. I'm going to have to watch this tape sometime. April 29th, 1997. Billy Bathgate demo tape. Red label. February 10, 92, and June 21st, 92. When a Man Loves a Woman demo tape. September 3rd, 1994. Starship Troopers widescreen. Look at that Columbia error on the TriStar logo on the back. Also, it's also a touchdown film. Yep, TriStar. I mean, I mean Columbia Air on this TriStar logo on that. Pretty cool. Ninth figure, nineteen ninety nine. I do not remember if the touchdown logo is at the beginning or not. I think it's at the end though, even though I could be wrong. I think it's actually at the end. I have an odd feeling it is, along with the TriStar print logo at the end. Oscar. August 30th, 1991, and August 19th, 1991. Six days, seven nights. Also, a Caravan Pictures film, too. April 2nd, 1999, and March 19th, 1999. So, two different dates on this one. For your consideration, copy of Erotica Guerin. I honestly do not see a print date on this one. I, I started peeling this off, but it didn't appear to be anything, so I just stopped peeling. I didn't want to ruin the whole thing. Dead Poet Society. Seen bits and pieces of this movie. This is actually a good movie. What I've seen of it so far. June 3rd, 1991. Gone in 60 seconds. Exclusive video bonus edition. July 30th, 2001. Sister Act. September 14, 1992. I wrote my name on it. Sister Act 2 demo tape. This is a very rare demo tape, actually. I hope to get the original demo tape sometime. I do not own it yet. March 29th, 1994. So, um, Sorry Boys? I don't know how you say that. Sorority Boys? I don't know, something like that. Sorority Boys? I think that's how you say it. Box Day, April 6th, Town 6. Very rare blockbuster date. September 23rd, Town 2, September 10th, Town 2. So, printed on 13 days apart. Con Air. Touchdown Home Entertainment. This is a, a reprint copy. I might also try to get the regular copy just for fun. I'm still going to keep this tape if I do. February 10,003 and January 18,003. Look at this. Touchstone preview tape for promotional use only. Betsy's Wedding. September 15th, 1990. Out cold. 
also a spyglass film. November 15, 2001, and October 29, 2001. Oh, wait, no, 2002, sorry. Let me reread that again. I'm sorry about that. I got confused for a second. November 15, 2002, and October 29, 2002. Sorry about that. We're only humans. Demo tape of Father of the Bride. Got this sealed when I got it. This was a surprise. This was a surprise to find. I actually found this in my thrift store. I, I was surprised when I found it. I picked it up. March 30th, 1992. March 29th, 1992. A day apart. It was sealed, too. And here are two other copies of Father of the Bride. This copy is a little bit damaged at the beginning. And, well, actually, I think I think the uh, damage at the beginning actually um, is not as... It actually is not as bad as it used to be. It's actually a little bit less damaged at the beginning, which is good. Um, well, at the end, there is some lines at the end of this tape. January 17th, 1996. Yeah, the ending of it is still really damaged, though. Well, not really that damaged, just a few lines. This one, I haven't watched the whole tape of, so I don't know if it's damaged or not. April 3rd, time free, and December 9, 2002. This is a reprint. And here's Fire of the Bride Part 2. Just like, um... The first one that, that was the reprint copy. This is also a reprint copy. April 10, 2003 and February 25, 2003. Cocktail. August 21st, 1999. Demo tape of uh, Bicentennial, man. March 21st, 2000. Here's the official copy. The bad thing about this tape, I actually I accidentally damaged this tape by accident a little bit at the beginning. It's not that bad, but I accidentally damaged this tape. Core produced at Columbia, which is pretty cool about this movie. Oh, a video rental. May 15, 2000. Raising Helen. September 16, 2004. And... Follow a video rental. And actually has Beacon in the label as well. It's kind of cool. Rain of Fire. October 25, 2002. Deceived demo tape. February 10, 92, and January 21st, 92. So, same two print dates as my demo tape of um, what was it called? Um, let me find it. Billy Bathgate. Sorry about that. I actually forgot the title, I just remembered it now. Um, demo tape of A Simple Twist of Fate. Okay. Um, per date is November 29th, 1994. Pretty Woman. Pink Ink Label. I think that's pretty nice. August 23rd, 1990. Two copies of Armageddon. Michael Bay film. No print date. It has a barcode, which is really cool. It has both of those companies that it's core produced by on the label. October 29th, 1998. Bringing out the dev, Nicholas Cage. Bob was day, October 30, 2000. Paramount and Touchstone. 15th, figure 2000.
Shanghai Noon. March 5th, 2001. Shanghai Knights. Reprint. August 6, 2003. Mr. 3000. Cobra Use of Spyglass and Dimension. January 5th, 2005. Label's all messed up because I decided to check it underneath it. Nothing underneath it that I can see. Home of Video Rental. Play it to the bone. Blockage date, December 12th, one. Perk date, May 9th, 2000. Two copies of Hit a Low. Start this copy. Blog was today, January 6, 2005. Label. July 9, 2004. And here's this copy. Still in the shrimp wrap. Look at this blue lid copy. That's pretty rare right there. June 28, 2004. Pretty rare that this actually has a blue lid. Pretty odd for a touchdown tape. Like water for chocolate. Miramax and Touchstone. Also showed this in my Miramax collection as well. Bogus Day May Town 2. Please remember to rewind. Incredible August 16, 1994. Please rewind tape. Under the Tuscan Sun. Playable. Jerry 5th Town 4, December 30th Town 3. Unbreakable demo tape. Dark City Label, March 26, 2001. And here's this copy. This is the exclusive video bonus edition. September 28, 2001 and September 16, 2001. Two copies of One Ray Bride. Start this copy. Blog Day, May 1st, 2000. Again, Touchstone and Paramount Film. Um, 50th Week in 1999. Actually, let's put it right there. And this is actually a print day copy. This is CHC pressing, so this has nothing at the end. Year 28, 2000. Gross Anatomy. I think the number actually fell off on this one. You know, the, the number I put on it. You know, like, the number, for example, this one. The number I put on my tapes. This one actually, I think, fell, the one for this one fell off. I'll have to relocate it sometime soon. April 11, 1992. Demo tape of Oh Brother, Where Are You? Cobra Deuce with Universal and what was the other company? Studio Canal and Working Title. Dark Sugar Label. March 28, 2001. Over 25 top 10 lists. Official copy. That's where I got the information from of the companies. August 6, 2002. This is the official copy. Um, th this one is a little bit damaged to begin, like, um, kind of like the Six Sense. Um, my copy print May 24, 2000, the Six Sense. This one also has, like, at the beginning, the FBI warnings start out black and white. Like, have a little bit of black, like a line that has, like, that, um, turns the FBI warnings to black and white for a few seconds. Then it goes back to its regular, uh, the regular blue color, rather. My bad. Um, open range, demo tape. September 26, 2003, and December 3rd, 2002. Two copies of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Start this copy. Let's go level. This copy is nothing at the end. has no print date at all. And this one. This has white screen of death printings, which is ultra rare for touchdown. This has the white screen of death at the end. Even though it's in, it's kind of impossible to see the printings. Let me open up my light completely. Maybe you'll be able to see the printings.
This is what the printings look like for a white screen death copy of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It says Touchdown Lead on it. It's kind of what it looks like. It's very hard to see with this, but yeah. Very cool. The number on this one's coming apart, unfortunately. I might have to put a new a new number on it. I might have to put a new thing on it, you know, with the same number and everything, just a new sticker on it, because it's already kind of wearing out. And the last of the um, Touchdown Collection right here. Look at that. This is Pearl Harbor. I have um, two copies. I have the white screen copy, and I'm not sure. I think this is the full screen copy. Let's start this white screen copy that does not come with the gift set. Got this separately. This is the white screen print. Warner Brothers Records, which is rather weird for a touchdown. THX on the back, too. Uh, at the beginning, I mean, at the top, I mean, I mean at the, yeah, out in the front of the cover as well, has THX. Tapes, too, actually. Tape 1 and Tape 2. It actually has the History Channel um, logo on Tape 2. That's something I didn't even notice till just recently. That's pretty weird. Now let's get to the print dates. Both have two print dates. Part 1 is November 7, 2001 and November 2, 2001. And Part 2 is November 7, 2001 and September 15, 2001. That's pretty cool. Hold on. I'm trying to get it back in its case. There we go. And here's this. Look at this. It includes Pearl Harbor VHS and... National Geographic Beyond the Movie Pearl Harbor VHS and National Geographic Collectible Map. I'm going to take that off. Pretty nice. There's what it looks like without it. A little bit of dust at the top, but hey, that happens sometimes, you know? Over time, things like that happen. Look at this. Look at that. Little note. Oh, wow. So it looks like um, December 8th, 1941 was when this was written originally. And then the collectible map that was described. That is pretty cool. And a little bit of what it looks like. And it shows a little bit of the world, it looks like. West Africa and Hong Kong. Looks like a lot of the like, countries right here. Thailand, China, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Australia, India, Canada, United States, Brazil, China, India, etc., etc., etc. Goes on. Pretty cool. And now let's go ahead and get to, um, yeah, in pretty good shape, except, look at that. This actually has a, um, dent in it. Fortunate. Oh, well. It says, Pray in USA and copyright logo, touchdown pictures, G4528. That's what it says on the back. Now let's get to this stuff right here. Um, hold on, let me, there we go. Let's start with the tape itself. I believe this is in full screen. I could be wrong, but I believe it is in full screen. Comes with this, whatever this is. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Part one and part two. History channel on the label again for part two. Both of them have it, it seems like. Both of them have it. So, um, part one is November 3rd, 2001, and October 29th, 2001. And part two is just November 13th, 2001. So, part two only has one per date on this one. Hold on, let me try to put it back in there better. There we go. 
And also got this. This is the making of Pearl Harbor. Not for individual sale. Pearl Harbor also said that on there. This one. Let me um, get it out again. Yep, there it is. If you didn't notice it before. November 10th, 2001 is the print date. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my Touchstone collection. Very massive. I have probably in the 90s of, of them. Um, at least. Maybe a little bit more than that, but I'm not too sure. And I will see you guys in my next video.